This is a 360 degree video. To look around on your mobile device, swipe left or right. To look around on your desktop or laptop, click and drag with your mouse or touchpad. Welcome to a Canadian veal farm. In this video, you're going to learn all there is to know about veal, what veal is, how veal cattle are fed, how they're cared for, and more. Let's get started. Male offspring of dairy cows are called bull calves. Male calves do not produce milk, so are often raised for meat called veal. Most veal animals are from the Holstein breed of cattle. Veal is often thought to come from young calves, but that's not true at all. Veal is actually one of the oldest of all food animals when it goes to market. A lot of care, time, and work goes into raising veal before then. Once they're old enough, male calves are sold by the dairy farmer to other farmers who specialize in raising veal cattle, like the farm we're on right now. This is a grain-fed veal farm. The animals on this farm have come from a few different farms. That means the farmer must protect the animals from getting sick by giving them vaccinations against different diseases. Veal farmers work closely with their veterinarians to ensure the animals are healthy and comfortable at all ages. For the first six weeks after they arrive on this farm, calves are fed milk replacer which is powdered milk mixed with warm water, as well as plain water and a nutritionally balanced pellet feed. This diet provides them with everything they need to grow and thrive. On this farm, there are two separate barns, one for younger animals and one for older ones. Right now, we're inside the feed room of the barn housing the younger animals. Let's check it out. We're now inside the feed room where the farmer prepares the food for the youngest animals. Here, you can see the farmer mixing milk replacer inside a large container on wheels, called a milk shuttle. The animals in this barn are fed every day, in the morning and in the evening. The farmer also monitors the animals throughout the day by taking a walk through the barn. Let's do that too! We're now inside the area of the barn where the calves are housed. As you can see, each animal has its own individual pen, each of which is bedded with clean, dry straw. The animals have lots of room to move around inside their pens and lots of fresh air, thanks to the open-sided design of this barn. In Canada, the weather changes drastically throughout the year, becoming hot in the summer and cold in the winter. The open sides of this barn have thick, durable plastic curtains that raise up or down depending on the weather. This ensures the barn stays at a steady temperature while fresh air continuously flows through, keeping the animals healthy and comfortable no matter what the weather is like outside. Each pen has two buckets, one for milk replacer and water, the other for pellet feed. The farmer feeds the animals by filling their buckets with milk replacer using the nozzle on the shuttle, as you can see them doing here. Once milk replacer has been fed, the shuttle is rinsed out and filled with clean, fresh water for the farmer to fill each bucket again. After water has been fed, the farmer comes back into the feed room again to park and set the shuttle to wash before taking the pellet cart out into the barn and filling up the second bucket with pellet feed. The animals stay in this barn until they're about two months old, at which time they are weaned off of milk replacer. Weaning happens by gently decreasing the amount of milk replacer each animal receives while, at the same time, increasing the amount of water and pellet feed. This process takes about a week. Once weaned, the animals move into the second barn on this farm. Let's go check it out. As you can see, this barn is much larger than the first barn. That's because there are more animals in this barn and they stay here longer. Animals in this barn are housed together in pens based on size and age. They're housed this way to give them equal access to food and water and to give them a chance to interact with others. 
This barn also has open sides with curtains that automatically move up and down based on the weather and temperature. Since the cattle are housed in age-based groups, there are several pens in this barn, as you can see. The pens are large enough for the animals to freely move around and are frequently cleaned and bedded with bedding made from either straw or corn stalks. Here, you can see the farmer spreading out a large bale of corn stalks, which provides a soft, absorbent material for the cattle to lie on. The cattle in this barn are fed grain corn and pellet supplements. The supplements are a combination of vitamins, minerals, and protein. The farmer feeds the animals in the morning and evening, making sure there's always enough grain so they're able to eat whenever they're hungry. Each pen also has a large water bowl in it, providing fresh, clean water to the cattle 24-7. These veal cattle will be moved into the next pen as they continue to grow until they reach market weight. Market weight for grain-fed veal cattle is approximately 750 pounds or 340 kilograms. The cattle will reach this weight in about seven or eight months. Once they reach market weight, the cattle are transported to local meat processing plants using specially designed cattle trailers that ensure their comfort and safety. Thank you for visiting this Canadian veal farm. We hope you learned a lot. To learn even more about Canadian veal, please click on the other videos in this section.